Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Ashley and this is Ashley Talks Movies. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the film Misbehavior. It's a film that takes place in the 1970s and centers around the women's liberation movement and the protests surrounding the Miss World pageant in London. But before I get into the review of that film, uh, while I have you here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos and also hit that notification bell so you get notified every time a new video is posted. Okay, so on to the review. Misbehavior is set in 1970 and centers around the Miss World pageant that took place in London that year. And the film tells the story of the protests surrounding the pageant, the women's liberation movement that sort of resulted from that, um, through three intersecting stories. So the one story is told through uh, Sally Alexander, who's played by Kira Knightley. And she's a university student who sort of reluctantly gets drawn into this women liberation movement um, by a group of rabble rousers who are looking for a way to sort of protest the pageant, which they, they deem as sexist, misogynist, you know, backwards. And then you also have uh, Bob Hope is sort of a centerpiece in this uh, film as well. He's played uh, by Greg Kinnear, and he's brought along to sort of host the, you know, be a special guest for the, for the pageant. Um, and then you also have, you know, the pageant directors who, um, you know, are trying to put this, this pageant together. And so these three intersecting stories all kind of come together with the pageant, right? The, when the pageant takes place. Um, also in the story is uh, Miss Grenada, played by Gugu Mbatha Ra, who's fantastic, by the way. Um, and there's all these different things happening within this film, again, that all kind of culminate with the pageant. This film is very light it's breezy it's a fun little movie um it, it, it was very enjoyable to watch um a lot of what happened in this film i mean it's based on real life events so you know it's, it's this happened in history not exactly as they put it in the film but i mean these these were you know based on real people based on real life events and so a lot of what was in this film i did not know about I, I didn't know anything about the Miss World pageant in 1970. That was before my time. Um, I did not know anything, so like anything about the protests surrounding the pageant, or um, you know Bob Hope's involvement in any of that, or you know anything to do with any of the contestants and like you know sort of the controversy or or the, the uproar, uh, surprise with you know the contestants that end up winning um, the pageant. So it was it was interesting to see all of that unfold and not quite know what was going to happen. The acting is really good here. Um, like I mentioned before, Kira Knightley plays um, you know a character who is sort of brought into the fold um, with this group of you know like protesters, and she does a really good job um, with that character. You have uh, as I mentioned before, Gugu and Batha Ra, who plays Miss Grenada. And she does, I mean, she's not given a lot uh, in this film, but the little bit that she is given, she does a, a wonderful job with it. I honestly wish, I don't know, the powers that be in Hollywood, if you're listening, you're not watching this video, but um, really wish you know, Gugu would have uh, more prominent roles in films because she's, she's really good. Um, and it's a shame that she's sort of, uh, once again, sort of wasted in a, in a role, but, but, but again, she does a really good job with the character. I mean, she doesn't have a ton of lines or anything like that, but a lot of what she does is, you know, the expressions in her face and her mannerisms. Um, she she does a great job. Um, as I mentioned before, Greg Kinnear plays Bob Hope, and he doesn't really look like Bob Hope. I mean, they gave him, like, prosthetic nose, and I don't know if they did something with his chin or something, but, you know, they tried to make him look a little bit like Bob Hope. Uh, he doesn't quite look like Bob Hope, but... He does nail sort of the mannerisms of Bob Hope. If you've ever seen any of like the old like I Love Lucy shows with Bob Hope in him, or even some of the old Bob Hope like stand-ups and stuff, um, he does sort of have that the, the the way Bob Hope smiles and the way Bob Hope moves his hands and things like that. He did nail that, so he did a really good job um, 
there. The story is okay, as I mentioned before. It's like it's it's told through sort of three intersection, three intersecting um, storylines. But you know, to be honest, I think where the film sort of falls short, because um, like I said, it's a fun sort of a bree- it's breezy, it moves really quickly. Yeah, you know, it's it's lighthearted. But I think where the film falls a little short is you know considering the subject matter. You have 1970. Um, you have women liberation movement. You have this this Miss World pageant. Um, you know all these social events that are happening around sort of this pageant. All this like upheaval. I feel like it's a little too tame with the subject matter. You know, given the fact you know this this like pageant and 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 um, you know this, they have these women parading in bathing suits and high heels on the stage and they're just being gawked at. Um, even at that time, some people were very uncomfortable with that, right? But it, the film just sort of like, oh, isn't this silly? But it's like it should have, I think, dug a little deeper uh, with that and and really pushed that. There's also, um, you know, very the, it, the film briefly touches on um, racism. Um, I won't say exactly what that has to do with it in case you don't, in case you're not familiar with the story. Um, and you know the contestants and things like that. Um, I'm not going to spoil that, but this film does kind of briefly touch on racism, and I felt like that could have been a more prominent part of the story. But like I said, it, it's it's there's plenty of funny moments here and there. Um, it, it, the film is well put together. It looks good. Um, I like I like the set pieces. I mean, again, it's set in 1970, so you know the clothes, the the music. Um, just every, the way everything looks, it's very much 70s. Um, so, and it's it's an enjoyable film. It's an enjoyable film. I mean, it's not the greatest film, um, and uh, but 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 it's but it's good and it's fun and I enjoyed it. So anyway, those are my thoughts on misbehavior. Uh, let me know what you think about the film in the comment section below. While you're here, like this video, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe.